Okay, today I'm gonna talk about pops up in React, and I will, again we're gonna keep using this uh, uh, this example from uh, Axios. Okay, so uh, search GitHub users. So first, um, as you can see here, so there is a state in root app component right but actually these states uh the properties of this state or these states are used by actually least component right as you can see here so it's an initializing error it's loading and stuff like that and uh, this state is update by search component so when uh, user change the keyword so, uh, when 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 user change it you need to update that uh the, the state based on the data retrieved or input value stuff like that so the reason why we put the state into the app or root component just simply because list and a search component are not able to communicate with each other because they are both child components. Well, we only know then how to pass values back and forth in, in between of parent and child class, but pub, pub sub can solve this problem. So first state should be stored in the component where this state is used okay. based on existing knowledge child components are not able to communicate with each other and uh, pops up can solve problem but how so as you can see here so this application is pretty simple we have a root component and a search and list component right so uh, pops up basically is able to make this search and list component talk to each other directly uh you yeah even they are not under the same child uh, parent class they still can talk to each other git pop uh pop Yes. As you can see here, so um, now we just uh, we can just use this by f uh, uh, following this documentation. So first, we need to move the state back to its back to component where it is supposed to be so I just copy this and paste it here in the least component right so mm, so but now we don't have any uh, how to see so we have state but we don't have the function to uh, to update the state, right? So now we need a function to update the state. Uh, actually, we update the state in this search component. So I just paste it here. Right. 
so now we have this search component it means that we don't need this handle search to pass the value back to um, root component anymore so I just delete this and instead I change this to search because this this handler this callback function is just on the instance of um, search class right so we don't need to pass this anymore and also because the state is inside of the list component so we don't need to pass the state anymore as you can see here so app component now is super is very very clear and uh, straightforward right so this is what app or root component is supposed to be uh, root component is supposed to be a shell right to it's supposed to be a container to uh, contains all other components instead of storing lots of many many states from uh, different components right so now we need to install this first npm install right okay npm install pop, pops up uh, dash js right so npm in store pop sub yes installing and uh, we can back to the source code and do a little bit um, a little bit uh, modification so in this case in in this search this handle search handle search we have got this input value right from the input field in this search component so now we have already delete this instead we just get the value here this dot input dot value but this is a callback function but you put the bracket after this call uh, this function so when the page load it will be uh, execute right after the page load so uh, there are two ways to solve that normally we just do some higher order functions right so we just do like return another function but in this case I'm gonna use another way to show you right so we need to know uh, every method uh, of this to, to solve the problem because in the real life project probably your teammates will would use some other method right so it's better that you know all of them so yeah so i just uh put another uh this is called date curing right so i just put a callback function here uh nest and this the search method is nest in to this right so now we have already uh, install this successfully and uh, now we have moved the state back to the component and first based on the documentation right here this is the basic e example uh, and this is pretty enough first as you can see you know, we need to subscribe subscribe uh, list component subscribe Change. why it is in the list component because the state is in this list component however the way we apt we update state is in the search component right so um, actually search component publish something publish something here and when it is published and it should be subscribe this the subscriber um, list component should get the new value and update the state and uh, display it on the page right um, okay now uh, in, in this example they use uh, this way to subscribe and uh, they just uh, um, declare a function and uh, put the function pass the function as parameter as right? so we can also 
uh, just to declare this function inside of this. So uh, another thing is where do we do subscription? Of course, we have already talked about this before. Component date mount, right? So after component date mount, normally we do subscription. We start a timer. We send some uh, request, HTTP request, right? So this way we today we just uh, subscribe. Pub sub dot subscribe. And first, you need to import. I just copy and paste it. Right. <coughs> so we can just use it. Use it. So this uh, it, it accepts two variables. The first one is the name of the subscription, um, something like a, it's called topic or a channel. Right, so because this subscribe subscription we uh, use to update state, right? So we just call it update list. So inside of this, we declare a function, and this function accept two message. The mess. The first message is the a uh, topic name. So when you subscribe my topic, and this message is. Uh, my topic it this is not really useful actually but it doesn't matter so and data is the data passed back in a force between components right so uh, I have a message data So actually, in this case, data is the state of this component, right? Because search component get the value from the input field and update the state. And in the list component, we just update that, right? So I just set state. Uh, I call it a state object. State object, right? Now we have already subscribed this, and in the search component, we need to update the state, right? So in this case, we don't need import. Pops up. We don't need to uh, update state right here and pass back to the root. Uh, root component anymore in stead publish we can just simply publish this right pub sub dot uh, publish of course Yeah, so each time we uh, update the state of in, in the list component, we publish that and uh, using same, don't forget, this is same topic or same channel. the list now we ensure that they're both in the same channel right list component subscribe and uh, search component publish the change of state update state of list component right so seven La now let us take a look at this looks like there's no error oh okay so because this is a local state right this is the state on the least component instance so we we don't need this prop anymore we just use state 
correctly instead. As you can see here, so welcome, please search. And uh, I do search test, right? It is. It just displayed. I do hello, loading, right? Yeah, it looks pretty fun. Um, also, I want to test if there is an error here. Test. Yeah, request field with status. Right. So now these two components are able to communicate with each other, right? They don't need to pass the, to use the root component as the global state management container anymore. They can talk to each other, right? Even though they are not under the same parent class, they are not both under app. Maybe the search is under some like console component. At least they under some element component and they still can talk to each other as long as the subscribe the use pops up right but after this there's a uh, clear uh, after this there is finally you need to clear uh, subscription um, cancel specific uh, subscription right so there is a token when you subscribe something there is a token so when this uh, component uh, doesn't exist th this is all mounted or doesn't uh, exist anymore uh, you need to clear this subscription because it's not useful anymore right so we can just pop up all subscribe token right so right here back to this example in the list component we subscribe that and uh, how do we get this token we can put this on the instance of this Subscript. All subscript. This dot token. Right. All subscript pop sub token. So this is the the way we use pop sub, and as you can see, the root component is super clear, and uh, both of them can talk to each other without a problem, and uh, it just worked fine. Clear all subscription. Uh, all subscribe component will all mount. Component will all mount. Sometimes I just copy this to. <laughs> Make sure there's no tap error. Pops up this dot token. Okay. Yeah, there's no uh, error message anymore. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty much about the pops up of React today.